All right, today's summer honey harvest day. We're gonna try a little different uh, technique today. Let me introduce you to my crew here real quick. Uh, this is Landon right here. Yeah. That's Tyler. And y'all have met Reed before, that's Reed over there. So these guys are gonna help me out and we have one other guy that's gonna show up here in a little bit and we're gonna get started. So let's go. Uh, there's Scott, Scott showed up. We got him down here at the bees and there's a, and there's a muscle right there. Once again, we got Tyler on the left. Landon in the middle and Reed on the right. They play on the same all-star team together in baseball. So I've heard they're pretty tough, but I guess today we're really going to find out how tough they are, aren't we, Scott? Yes, we are. All right, so here we go. We're going to get busy here. Okay, so today uh, we're actually using fume boards. I know in the past I've used bee escapes, but I've heard this is actually better. And I talked to Bob at the bee house down in Florida, and he said that, you know, the pros mostly do it that way. My buddies, a lot of them do it that way. So... I bought five bee escapes. I already have one, and Scott brought one today. He's down there working already a little bit. So we're trying them out. We, I tried them out in my backyard yesterday. They worked okay. I only had two there, and then we just used them up at the farm, and they worked really well. So basically, I use Honey Bee Gone. Uh, it's, it smells pretty good. It's a uh, bee repellent. It works great. You want to liberally spray it on the fume board like this, and then you break into the hive here. See this hive is doing really well. We've done some videos on this one before. I think you're gonna be impressed with what you see here. Look at all those bees. And smoke them down a little. And then all we do is we simply put this fume board on top like this. And we leave it for a few minutes. We'll let the bees clear out of the supers because the bees don't like the smell so it drives them down. The reason I haven't used fume boards much in the past is because it just takes a while to do it. But I only had one or two fume boards and so it would take me forever. So I prefer bee escapes because you can get them set up, just take the boxes and go. But with several fume boards going and a good crew here, we got five of us here working today. I think we can get it done pretty quick. Okay, so now it's been a few minutes. Uh, what, probably maybe five minutes or so. We're going to take this off. We'll take a look right here. The bees are totally cleaned out of here for the most part. I think it's totally cleaned out. Here's what the honey's looking like. Look at that beautiful honey. Okay, so now we're gonna take this box off. And we're gonna take it to the truck. Son of bees. All right, we have a blower here just in case. We're letting Tyler run the blower here, at least for right now. He's ready. And uh, there's Scott tipping it up. Are there any bees up in there? Good. See anything there? Yeah, almost no bees. You want to take it? Put it on the trailer. You know what? Reed's going to take that over to the trailer. Hey, boy, Reed. There you go. Push this one down, too. Let's yeah, go. it's down, too. It's good? Yep. All right. And you want to blow? Yeah. You got to carry it. Yeah. Oh, this one. Beautiful one. This one. It looks like I got these. Uh, uh, somebody take it. I think it's good to go. I don't know if it's even got any bees in it. So see how effective those, yeah, just blow it real quick. Got a few, not many at all. All right, take it and go. Whoever's Reed, are you up, Reed? Will Tyler take that one? That one's, that one's heavy. We're gonna put this on this one. Now we're gonna put those uh, fume board back on there and run those bees down. Yeah, you can. Who's next? Reed. Oh, yeah. There we go. Is it clean pretty much? Wow, the fume boards are working great. Yep, fume go. Take it. Uh, Reed's going to take that one. No. Sorry, not yet. Blow that. No. Let's go. And so we go down the line. Uh, 
Ah, run away! We're putting lids on them so the bees won't tend to rob them. Just laying the lid on top. We got basically 44 boxes right here. I don't have my mic in, but you can see, and this is just at the farm in Ozark. We still have a lot more to go. I'm digging the hook, bro. I haven't got stung yet. Come get it. Come get it, guys. Come get that one. You're making me a read What are you doing? What are you talking about? Right. <laughs> yeah. Here's most of the boxes. Rusty's down getting some up in one more field. We've got at least a hundred in here. We got almost all the bees out, but the blower died on us. There's still a few in these boxes, but they'll probably go out those windows there. So here's our setup. There's the crew. What you think, man? Good day, good day. Fun? Did you get stung? Yeah, like six times. Only six? Good man. Let's go over and talk to Landon. Uh, what'd you think, Landon? I thought I, I had I had some fun. You had some fun. Yeah. Did you get popped a few times. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, Only like thirty. That's fine. Thirty. Yeah. That's okay. it. All right. Scott, what'd you think, man? So it was a big operation. We had a lot of good teamwork, which made it a lot better for all of us because it would have been out there all day still doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's only what almost three o'clock. Oh, okay. We started. We left fifty guys at about seven forty-five. So. Well, six hours, not again. Night, almost eight hours. Come over here, Reed. So, what'd you think, Reed? Thought he was gonna be able to stay behind the camera. What'd you think, Reed? Um, I mean, it was fun. We got to move a, a lot of honey, so. Uh, so we got about probably about a hundred boxes over there. Rusty's getting some more. We're probably gonna end up with around 120 to 130 boxes of honey to try and extract tomorrow. So, it's gonna be crazy. All right, thanks for watching, y'all. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. And we'll get out of here. Man, we got a lot of work done today. It's just a little bit after 4.30. I just pulled into my driveway here. They're basically done. I do have a few more boxes to pull at Honey Hill Farm if it uh, clears up this evening or first thing in the morning. It started raining on us. We got everything done just in the nick of time. I'm so grateful for my crew, uh, Scott, Reed, Landon, Tyler, for all the help they provide. Everybody got stung, but everybody was tough. And we got so much done. I couldn't have done it myself. There's just no way. And I really appreciate that. And Rusty pulled the boxes from the last field so we didn't have to go down there. Uh, fume boards. I really like the fume boards. We were able to move pretty fast. The only thing I don't like about it is that you still have to disturb the bees a fair amount when you use the fume board. You have to pop the lid, smoke them, and put the fume board on there. And they, they got a little bit agitated with this, especially up in Ozark. The thing I prefer about the bee escapes is that you know, you put it on there, you do get in the bees and aggravate them. But then when you come to pull the boxes, you just take them and go. It's almost as if the bees don't even know you're there. Um, but you do have to agitate them, I guess, both ways. And so why not just mess with them one time? Uh, but it went well. It especially worked well when the sun was out during the heat of the day uh, before it got cloudy. And the heat from the sun drove the bees down quickly out of those supers. And that that's what was going on in Slocum. 
and we were pulling those boxes so fast with almost no bees in them it was amazing and so i do like the fume boards i think if you have a good crew if you've got enough fume boards you can work really fast like we did today we've been using anywhere between five to seven each time we got a ton of work done in a hurry and so i guess i kind of prefer those overall because you don't have to make that extra trip to place the bee escapes but that's it for now i'm gonna go get some rest we got a big day tomorrow extracting all this honey y'all take care and be safe